Yeah, that's right, Chris. The area around Elon City Lights behind me is secure. It has been for over 24 hours. Relatively calm given everything that's going on here, but there are still dozens of residents coming in and out, taking their belongings, some as much as mattresses they can fit into the back because they know they're not going to be coming back here anytime soon. And tonight, Chris, we are learning more about that woman who lost her life. This is Kirsten Smith. She died Sunday when the crane came crashing through her apartment. Her family shared these photos with us today. She was just 29 years old. In a public post on Facebook, her sister shared more photos and reflections, saying, what gives me peace is that I know she was happy. She was in love with a great guy, soon to start a new job, and had so many wonderful things to look forward to. Throughout the day, investigators from Graystar, the property management group, worked to figure out what led to the crane collapse on top of the Elon City Lights building on Sunday, while residents work to figure out what is left of their apartments. Five minutes per person, so we'll see. In shifts on Monday, tenants were allowed back inside to the building to retrieve items from a home they don't know if they'll return to, knowing one of their neighbors will never get that chance. Just prayers for everybody that's been affected by this, especially for the people who uh, had lost their loved ones. Even one day later, there were still rescues happening. We spotted an employee with the management company, Graystar, carrying this cat from the damaged building. A reunion, Brielle Rowe, <laughs> wasn't sure what happened Sunday. I was on the ground floor and luckily I was in a spot where I could get out and get to the second floor balcony and get rescued from there. A small positive in a situation with still for hundreds so much uncertainty. Chris, tonight we heard from Kirsten Smith's employer here in Dallas, Tenant Health, who said Kirsten was a valued member of our team, a dedicated employee and a good friend to many of us. Their heartfelt, heartfelt condolences going out to her friends and family tonight. Chris.